On business, the federal government has commenced the long-awaited compressed natural gas CNG initiative with the handling over of two CNG field buses to the management of the state house in Abuja on Friday. Speaking with journalists, project director of the presidential CNG initiative, Michael Oluagbemi, says the initiative will start with seven conversion centers and kits, as state government have already indicated investment interest in the CNG buses. In his remarks, managing partner of PCNGI, Chinedu Ogwebu, lauds the patronage of Made in Nigeria vehicles by the federal government, saying it is a way of deepening industrialization. Various states have acquired CNG buses, and uh, we, we intend to, uh, we know that uh, the Nigerian states are, are, are looking forward to a cleaner, cheaper form of transportation. And Mr. President, building of, on the legacies of his predecessor, is ensuring that all Nigerians get these uh, 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 transportation that they need. Uh, that is Nigeria-owned, uh, because we have Nigeria is a gas country uh, with very few uh, smaller uh, quantity of crude oil. So he wants to make sure that the Nigerian public is not subjected to the price of transportation occasioned by international conflagration rather that they are being able to use the gas that Nigeria produce. Nigeria is actually a gas powered, or a gas uh, producing country. Unfortunately, we've been focusing on oil. So what I mean by that is that now is the time for us to, you know, harness this energy resource. Why we won't fail is that, you know, um, like I said, we've been working on this for a while. And, you know, the most important thing, quite frankly, is that once you have the president backing any initiative, not just by, uh, you know, policies, but action, right? We then know that all the industry players, all the regulators, everybody, all the stakeholders will get behind this. So we think that this is the time. And, uh, you know, and it's also very, you know, timely because subsidy removal has impacted everybody.